the why, hows, and when of calling the girl for the first time. Calling the girl for the first time is very nerve wracking. Any guy can attest to this. It's a it's akin to jumping in a, a the cold shower in the middle of the winter. That's how it is when having to have to call the girl for the first time. So let's deal with why. Why should I call a girl? Opposed to texting. Number one. You can't really transfer emotions through text, but you could through words. So when you call a girl, you can actually convey more directly to her what it is you're, let's say, feeling or what it is you're, you're trying to communicate. So through text, a girl can pretty much get your text message. Boop, okay, cool. Can he boop, discard it? It's just... um going down a drain. When you're on the phone with a girl, she can't just ignore what the fuck you're saying. She would have to hear it. She would have to either let it sink in or deal with, it, with the fact that you are, you're actually communicating with her. So that's why it's advantageous to actually call over text. I'm not, I'm not saying this is the, the rule all of the time, but Eventually, you will have to call the girl. Most times, 99% of the times, if you're trying to get into a girl's pants, you're trying to get her on a date, 99% of the times, you will have to call her eventually, before the date, before hooking up. It's just the rule. It's just how it is. All right, now, when should you call the girl? This is another important one that lots of guys fumble. You don't want to call at any crazy time, any stupid times. I know a lot of guys in the past who've um, made this common mistake of, let's say, calling a girl for the first time at 11 p.m. I mean, what the fuck could possibly be going through your head to call a girl at 11 p.m.? Some guys even call girls at 4 a.m. I remember a crazy little thing. And this, is, this actually goes to show how crazy it is. I was talking to a girl a few months ago, dating and shit, and she had mentioned to me that a guy had called her at 4 in the fucking morning the other day, 4 a.m., and the dude was so nonchalant about it, he was so like, like, blase and chilled about it, like this is normal, he woke the fucking girl up, so that is crazy, you don't want to be calling at any crazy time, this is my rule when it comes to it. I call girls between 11 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. That's it. 11 a.m., 8.30 p.m. That's usually the best time. When in the evenings or, or let's say even better, 6 p.m., 6 o'clock in the evening, it, I find it's the best time when a girl usually you know, wants to relate. But, and it sort of depends on where you're at on the globe. Because, how can I put this? American girls are pretty lazy. I'm sorry to offend some people, but it's very typical that American girls would actually still be in bed up until 11 a.m. And that's just ridiculous. Girls in the Caribbean are usually up at 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m. It's very rare that you'll hear a case of a, a girl in the Caribbean islands being in bed at 8 a.m. 8 a.m., that's pretty rare for a girl in the islands. So it sort of depends on where you're at. And you would, you would notice. So if you're in, let's say, New York somewhere, and it's the weekend, you don't want to call a girl at 11 a.m. Because most likely she's still in bed, just got up, still groggy. So you want to wait until, let's say, the evening, or call her between 1 p.m. and, let's say, 7 p.m. That's the ideal time to make the first call. You know, when a girl would have had, you know, she would have been open at least. She would have been on a phone doing a thing, and she has her phone in her hand anyway. So that's a perfect time to call. Now, 
one strategy I love when it comes to calling girls for the first time. Because as I said, anxiety is, is a big deal. Guys feel nervous about the phone call. The first phone call, that is. To alleviate this, what I usually do, well, in the past, is I would phone a friend. I would phone a buddy, a wing, a guy friend, whatever. Or even a girl who I chat good with, you know, and we talk a lot of shit. So I would phone her and, you know, we would just talk some random shit. And it's usually a lively conversation just to build my state. It's just to pump my state, my energy, my spirit, whatever. So that's what you want to do. You want to get your energy up before you call the girl whom you're intended to call for the first time. Right? So, so you don't want to actually make the first phone call from a sort of dejected state, from a lowered state. You want to make the first, first phone call in a high energy sort of sort of way, you know? So that's that's a key thing I do all the time, what I used to do in the past. Before calling the chick where I really want to call, I would phone a friend, talk shit, high energy, blah, 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 full force, just energy is high, high. And right after that, I would phone the girl who I really wanted to call, and I would still maintain this high energy, and it will make for a better conversation than if I was to call like, um, so... What's up, girl? Instead of calling it like that, I would be like, hey, hey, so what's up? Yeah, you know, but. So, you want your energy to be high. And it, elim it alleviates and eliminates nervousness. So, you want to phone someone before you phone the girl whom you really intend on calling. Alright, so let me see if I have any more little tips to give on this. Mm. That might just be it. So once again, guys, just to rehash or to summarize. Remember, you don't want to call after 9.30 p.m. unless the girl agrees to this, unless this is mutually agreed on. So you don't want to call after 9 p.m. It's too late. You don't want to call her before 11 a.m. It's just too early. To get rid of the nervousness and anxiety, you want to phone a friend or phone anyone who you, you chat well with before you actually call the girl. And it's important to call the girl at least some point before trying to hook up with her because she get a better sense of who you are, how you sound, how you interact, how you communicate. So that's why it's great to call her. Okay, so with those three tips, I'm going to leave it there. Alright, so, oh, 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 just remember, just remember, last tip. When conversing with a girl over the phone, and like I said, this, this is all about your energy. You want to come from, or you want to have the right energy. Not to be boring, bland, and subdued. Okay, you want to be lively for the first conversation, this initial convo. You want to be lively. You want to have good spirits, and don't stay on the on the phone for an hour, not even two minutes. You pump her state, her energy, for two minutes, minute and a half, and you tell her, hey, basically, I'm gonna call you back at a later time when I'm a bit freer and so forth. So the first conversation, the initial conversation is not to dive into a whole dialogue of three hours. It's not what the first conversation is for. It's literally just to make the girl hear your voice and likewise you hear her and 